So this is kind of like the follow-up story to the first Unbroken. Why was this important to be made? I mean, this part of his life is just as important as the first part of his life. Yeah. I mean, the first part of his life is a, is more physical almost. Yeah. Like being the runner and yeah. the prisoner of war and everything he yeah. went through physically. Obviously, he still was dealing with mental and emotional issues. But <laughs> this part of the story is really the aftermath of all of that mm -hmm. and trying to work through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that understanding of cause and reaction, I think, is something that we take for granted or we don't even think about most of the time. You know, most of us are living our lives where we're walking and we go, oh, I want this, boom. And then you don't even think about the the reaction to whatever impetus that you have. Um, and it's an important thing. If you can just take a second to go, cool, I really want to do this, but maybe it might have this impact on someone else's life. And so I see that as these are the two parts of that, right? He does this, and he does this for every good reason. He survives, and he deals with all this stuff. He gets home, though, and then there's the reaction to it. Mm -hmm. And you meet his wife. And you meet his wife, which is Instrumental like, in his... And way more interesting. <laughs> yeah. And way pretty. So what is the transformation he needs to go through? Yeah, he needs to step into a, a, a um, I think it's help. He needs to understand that he can't do it on his own, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, is a struggle that many people deal with. Mm -hmm. um, and goes back to, you know, the, the different things that uh, people with struggle with PTSD, and I, by no means, I haven't experienced PTSD to this extreme. Um, I know some people who have, but the thing is that the advice that I've gotten about it is that being open to help, being understanding that you don't have to do it on your own, understanding that people are, want to be there for you, and that doesn't make you less of a person accepting that help mm -hmm. um, is, I think, a really good place to start. Yeah. Yeah. And for your character, how do you feel like her faith gets her through, you know, the marriage? I mean, it, it saves her. It saves her, it saves him, it saves their marriage. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's done, I think, at, at the point where she meets Billy Graham. She doesn't know what else to do. She doesn't know how to help him. She can't get through. She's starting to feel like her life's at risk. Her daughter, like, it's, it's done, it's dark. And Billy Graham really, allows her to find hope and allows her to forgive him mm. for what he's put them through and it's really the turning point and she's ultimately gets him to go as well which saves his life yeah mm. yeah talk about the power of like forgiveness in this yeah, movie. yeah. talk more about it. yeah it's amazing yeah i don't i don't know that i've ever actually done it like when i think about it you know I've, I've, there's certainly things that i've let go of and there's certainly things that i've gone okay well i understand where you're coming from but if i really think about Forgiveness. It's so powerful. It's, it's really hard yeah, to do. It's very, very difficult to do. You know, and to love someone as much as you love them or think of somebody on the same level of respect mm -hmm. as you thought about them before whatever event happened, it's like that in itself is just it's so much more significant than I think any we think of the word and we're like, Oh yeah, I forgave them. It's like, yeah, or maybe you just stopped get, you stopped caring yeah, yeah. about the problem or the thing, but did you really forgive them? Yeah. Well, it sounds like doing this movie kind of, or have you been thinking about those kind of bigger scheme questions and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Yeah, it just was brought up. It just kind of clicked for me recently that there are definitely some situations in my life that I've been handling very differently than I would have in the past. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's well, it's wild. a powerful, you know, story, everything that he went through, you know, from the first movie and even now. Did you guys read the book or, you know, you got to meet his son and stuff like that? And how was that experience? Mm -hmm. Great. I mean, I read the book years ago when it came out, and it was yeah. like, I was I pushed it on everyone I knew. I was like, you have to read this book. It's unbelievable. <laughs> the story's incredible. And like, I loved it. So as soon as I saw, I mean, I loved the first movie as well, but the book was my initial introduction to his story, which I just yeah. thought was so fascinating. Yeah, that's actually that reminds me. Like, anytime now, I think a lot of projects that I've done, each of them has had something that when I look back and I'm like, man, when you were a kid. If I would have gone connects. to you, yeah, yeah. and I would have told you, hey, by the way, you're going to play this character in this book someday, or hey, by the way, you're going to work with this actor, yeah. da, da, da. I would have been like, no way, that's awesome, <laughs> that's so cool, man, and so by doing that, at least connecting to that in the, in the moments when it's happening, it yeah. reminds me of just like how much, how blessed and how much fun this all is, yeah. you know, it can be really overwhelming. But at the same time, it's important to stay connected to what, yeah. why you do it. Yeah. Well, if you take that by faith, it's like divine intervention of like yeah. things in your life happen. Like sure. maybe there's a reason for it. You know what I mean? Why is God silent? Why good men suffer? Why doesn't he stop the pestilence? Why doesn't he stop the wars? You need help. Here tonight, there's a drowning man. Just looking for some type of hope for the future. But there's a lifeline. Just reach out. 